I am Anil Kumar and in this video we will further explore application of Sokotoa and the cast rule. So we know Sokotoa means sine is opposite over hypotenuse, cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse, tan is opposite over adjacent and the cast rule says in which quadrant which trigonometric ratio is positive. So all are positive in quadrant 1, sine is positive in quadrant 2 tan is positive in quadrant 3, cosine is positive in quadrant 4, right? So we normally start from quadrant 4 as a CAST, right? So that is how you get cast rule. So it is kind of like this. At times it is confusing because we start from quadrant 4, right? Anyway, we also call this as all silver teacup, right? So that helps you to understand that all are positive in quadrant 1 sine is positive in quadrant 2, tan positive in quadrant 3. That means in quadrant 1 and 3 tan is positive, tan is negative in these two quadrants, right? Cosine is positive in quadrant 4. Now what are we given here? We are given that cosine theta is square root 3 over 2 and tan theta is less than 0. Means tan theta is negative. Tan theta negative means we could be in this or that quadrant, right? Tan theta is negative in quadrant 2 and in quadrant 4. But we are also given that cosine theta is positive. That means we are talking about the angle to be in quadrant 4. Now, which angle is this? Now, this is the principal angle, right? So, what we do here is we'll just draw at random a principal angle. So, theta is this angle. Right. So that is the angle we are talking about. So this I will say is my principal angle theta. And we are in quadrant 4. So from this statement, we know cosine is positive, tan is negative. That means the principal angle should lie in quadrant 4. So we know we are in quadrant 4. Right? Now in quadrant 4, cosine theta is positive and tan theta is negative right now let's figure out the value of sine theta how do you find that so in quadrant 4 we'll just complete a triangle so let's, let's just make a triangle here so take any point on this principal terminating arm with principal angle of theta in that case we are given cos theta is square root 3 over 2 what does that mean when I write cos theta equals to square root 3 over 2, cos theta is adjacent over hypotenuse. It is adjacent over hypotenuse. Right? So in a right triangle, the adjacent side is this side, correct? So this side is square root 3 for us. Let me write down square root 3 here and 2 is hypotenuse. In a right triangle, if you know hypotenuse and adjacent side, you can find the opposite side. That has to be square root of 2 square minus 3 square, right? So we can write what opposite side is, right? So from here we can say this implies that opposite side should be equal to square root of 2 square minus square of square root 3 that is square root of 4 minus 3 and that is indeed 1. So we have opposite side as 1. Now in the triangle we know all the three sides and we can now find any trigonometric ratio. So what is sine theta in this case? Sine theta is equals to as you know opposite over hypotenuse. Right? So it is opposite over hypotenuse. So initially, if you understand these two rules, it becomes very helpful to move on with trigonometric ratios. Now clearly, the opposite side is 1, right? And hypotenuse is 2. Now, this 1 is actually negative since we are pointing downward. So I have to write this as negative 1. Do you understand? So that is how we get the negative sign. Correct? The other way to remember is that in quadrant 4, sine has to be negative, right? So our answer here is that sine theta 
is equals to negative half right since we know we are in quadrant 4 correct so the terminating arm is in quadrant 4 this opposite side is moving downwards right therefore it has to be negative right so it is negative 1 and sin theta is negative 1 over 2 I hope that helps you to understand the concept thank you and all the best